When allocating downloaded transactions, you have the option to create and use a rule to automate the process. Reckon One will search the information received, the conditions you specify, and allocate it according to the instructions you made. Click on the green Create Rule on the Options line of your transaction. Now work down the form to make the search criteria you will need to correctly identify the transactions and process in the proper manner. The rule name will automatically show the description field. You can leave it as the name or give it a simpler title. Its status of money in or money out has already been selected. You have five categories by which you can define the rule. Often one is enough, but you can use as many categories as needed to uniquely identify the transaction. Each category will have several search criteria. By default, the description populates the description from the transaction and offers the search criteria all of these words. That is, every word of this string must be present, but not necessarily in this order. The criteria, any of these words, means any of the words may be present for the rule to be applied. This exact wording means that all words must be present in the sequence. This includes any spaces as well. Anything means the category is not defining the rule. Other categories have a similar array of search criteria and depending on your choice, you may be required to enter text in the box to the right. Remember spaces count. Next, in the rule will, specify what is to be done with this transaction. Do the following allows you to choose from, create a payment, create a receipt, create a transfer, or ignore this transaction. Next, select a contact, that is a supplier, employee, customer, or other party. And finally, the description you want this entry to show in your book. By default, it is set to the description received from the imported or downloaded transaction. In the final section, you indicate the ledgers to which this transaction will be assigned. You can select a project if one is relevant, an account, a tax code, an amount if the whole amount has been assigned to this one account, or a percentage if this amount will be split between more than one account. Click on Add New Row to make the next ledger entry. Make sure your percentages add up to 100%. If you will have a mix of amounts and percentages, the amounts must be listed first. That's it, your rule is created. Check your entries and click on Save to complete the process. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any further questions, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.